Are you one of these students who doesn't take things for granted but ask questions such as how useful Cronbach's Alpha truly is? Klaus Seitzma, psychometrician at our department, has done research on that and most scholars would be surprised with his findings. Klaus Seitzma is also uh, the former uh, head of our department and currently the dean of our school. He is also the founding father of the research master program that you're looking at. Professor Jürgen Vermund is uh, internationally known as the expert in latent class analysis. He's really keen on getting you convinced about the quality of the method and he undoubtedly will do that. By the way, my, my name is Guy Moors. I'm the minor coordinator of the uh, uh, methodology and statistics uh, track and my field of expertise is survey research. Students in the research master all have a keen interest in doing research, but the small group who is interested in doing research on methods and statistics uh, has been focusing on a number of issues. You might wonder which topics that they deal with. I'll present you two with, of two of them. First of all, we all know that developing a scale uh, involves making compromises between, on the one hand, practical considerations that a, a scale should not be too lengthy, but on the other hand, methodological requirements saying that a scale should be lengthy enough to be able to have reliable data. Well, the question, uh, how short a test, uh, when a short test becomes too short, is a, a topic uh, researched by one of our uh, uh, research students and who is finishing his PhD on that. Second example, multi-level data involve data at different levels in which individuals, for instance, are nested in schools or citizens uh, within uh, countries. And multi-level methods have been developed to analyze how these group variables explain differences between individuals. But what if it's the other way around? That you like to explain group differences with individual level data. It's not that obvious. Well, one of the uh, uh, research master students has developed his research on that. We have the one minus beta. That's the real logo of our department. But you have the power as well. You have the power by joining our team and then you'll experience the luxury of individual traineeships. Traineeships which often involves cooperating with staff members in trying to publish papers and getting them published in high quality journals. Yeah. Uh, it's moving into PhD tracks. First year papers, master thesis, have been published in our department. So if you join our team, you're in the real business of doing research, not just practicing. And that is what really makes the difference. And finally, some things that our foreign students uh, told me to tell to you is that, well, how nice is it that everybody talks English in the Netherlands? That's one thing. That they learned a lot of things that they never heard of before when they entered the program. But best of all, that they were given the opportunity to enter a PhD track and they are getting paid for that. So if you have interest in methods and statistics, you have good grades in related uh, courses, and you're into the challenge of our research master program, you're welcome. Just give us a mail. Thanks. <laughs>